and a fabulous shot there by Balding. A gigantic full toss down the leg side, and Balding smacks it. There's the power of Balding that you don't often see. There's the strength to whack those boundaries. Now, what will they do here? Will he overcompromise and bowl it short or outside off? The first ball was probably with ball. Oh, that's yes. good, but Not putting a lot of rotation on it. And that was outside off. Now I think he'll look to bowl it at the stumps. Ah. 
So, will you, uh, you boys be uh, looking to uh, claim outright points this match? Uh, once Negative. our pans out. Negative. At the moment, no. So looking at the ladder, you're a half a game behind the Thomas Town, who are number one. And if you claim maximum points, then you're guaranteed first place. Yes. Mm. See, we've lost. They've lost 52. Oh, minutes. what a shot by Balding! Smacks it down the boundary. You can check that on the monitor. Straight down to Goodyear Diamond Creek, and that takes Balding to 12, and it's his second highest score of the season. So, looking at uh, the new bowler, Dale McLean, bowling at the pavilion end. Five overs, one wicket at 31, best bowling 1 for 13. Expensive, but uh, he's just a part-timer, so he's there just to pick up the uh, occasional wicket. Right arm medium. Keeper up to the stumps for the first time. Oh, and even Harry takes to him. Smacking him. Well, it's a big opportunity for Harry to get the head with some runs under his belt. Yes, uh, Harry has been uh, the unfortunate person to bat at number nine mm -hmm. on previous occasions, but here's his chance to get the good promotion. Yes, uh, the ball was so slow that Harry had already played the shot before the ball had already gotten to him. <laughs> so, uh, plenty of runs though. How many down are Three, four. Four down. George, Bellingham, Gilmore, and Bay. They're all back now. They're like all one type of car. That's bear keeping by fair. Why is there signal by just the one bar is the mud? He's kept relatively well this this morning. Yes. Looks like he's more of a what? Uh, a good work keeper, great catches, then are tidy and uninteresting. Just to try and do the job done very well. Some aggression being applied to Borden, even though he's hit three fours. Holding on strong. Ooh. Keeper removing the bales again. We'll take my zombo. End of the Maybe. over. And we've got a, kind of a special guest to the uh, Channel 8 Media Centre. We have the captain, Bradley Mitchell, just after his 100. Hello, Bradley. Hey, Justin. How's it going? I'm Chucker Wilson. Oh, Chucker. Yes. Chucker Wilson. Chucker Wilson of the Channel 8. Channel 8. Yes. And for all you Channel 8 subscribers, just press red to go Channel 8 Act. As it's the spin bowlers continue. Christian. Oh. And Harry going for a big shot, almost bowled around his legs. Probably a bit too full Nearly of taken off the Zumbo's hand. So, you've only got uh, one or two more matches to go. Two. Two matches two to go. Four final, yeah. So, uh, good shot there by Harry, and it beats the field, and. Four. Should be. Oh, well stopped by old. Well run, three there. And uh, how do you feel about uh, how your team has been going through uh, the season? Um, well, we've we started off well. Um, our bowling and fielding hasn't been too crush up, but as we saw last week, bowling we finished up to 30 was a good achievement, and we all pitched in well. Yes, I think uh, your bowling seems to be the one weakness that you have because both Alistair and Ty, although they're very good bowlers, they just don't get those early breakthroughs. Mm, and that sometimes costs you. Yeah. <coughs> well, 
has also been in the low light, you could say. But um, no, we've picked up in our bowling field quite a bit. Ooh. Good turn there from Christian. Yes. And this research team, they have really uh, gone downhill since they tied against you and they were looking like uh, into the finals and now they've just gone downhill. Yeah, well, I think they're not really, they don't really have their minds on the job. They're more just mucking around and not taking it as serious as they should be. Yes, it's a bit unfortunate because uh, we were predicting in here at Channel 8 that this was going to be a close match, end of the over. Mm. If you want quality fruits and vegetables, then just go down to the Lettuce Inn Fruit Shop in Main Road, Hurst Bridge. Continuing at the pavilion end <coughs> is uh, Dale McLean. Dale McLean, right arm medium. Close infielders, no slip. And Rinya hits it for a It's a pretty good line to look Rinya because he sort of backs away to square legs. So yes. If the, uh, if the odd one doesn't bounce, so we should take any stunts. There are some uh, people around that have that. Uh, Efficiency in their technique that they try and uh, they walk away from the ball, go to square leg, and that can't be out. Very home delivery as well, so. 
we all know we love to hit it. Very good shot by Luke Bowling. Wow. Back that forward. was incredible. And he hits it. Yes. Yeah. We've been saying that Luke Bowling's only a small hit, but he does have some strength yeah. in him. And it's often deceptive, and he can often hit those boundaries, but he struggles to get those singles. So, uh, good boundary there by Balding. Balding. Just adding some drama by waiting before I mention his name. Another four that takes him on highest score of the season. They were coming wide outside off. Well, uh, might be outside. wide. No. One of Channel 8's other sponsors is Magic Motors. Filled with love. It's a Channel 8 sponsor, not a pen and ill. Oh, yes, my mistake. Not Channel 8 Cricket Club sponsor. Watch that court you're standing on. Clean to come in full. Oh, Harry lobs it. Just drops in between two fingers. Linear on struck. McLean coming in again. Good straight boys. McLean's off. Confident 
as he is off the back foot. Off the back foot, he can pull those balls up all as he has done for the last six boundaries. If I was boarding, I'd be thinking just to, just to not worry about heads and tail, I'd just go out there and get on the front foot. It's, the worst he can do is get an edge and four runs down the third man. No slips. Oh, another fabulous shot by Balding. Could he get a half century by Stumps? Four more. Fabulous shot. Balding on to 29. Now it is. And it's definitely happening next over. So, wait and find out. Well, Rinia is, he hasn't won his mind over the job. He's going to look, either call round and go, or just yes. stay back. But it, I mean, Baldwin doesn't call. Yes. Change of the field. We're going to come in again. Short. Oh, well played. Oh, oh well Takes him to eight fours in his innings. It was so and quick that the cameraman couldn't pick that up. Four more. Number 33. If you're looking for good food, good atmosphere, good alcohol, and good people, and a karaoke night every uh, s every so often, then why not come down to the Pandanel Hotel? Just off the uh, Cracknell Reserve, a hundred meter walk, right next to Simon the Macaque. Full toss. And single well air. called. That is a well called single. And he's under 34. And on comes a new bowler, Harrison. Harrison. Oh, the leg spinner. Yeah, so he chucked up a lot of full tosses to Gilmore last week. Yes. At first, the leg spinner seemed to work against uh, Gilmore and Mitchell, but then after they figured out how to play the leg spin, it wasn't effective at all. Another full toss, and that could be full. They've got a fielder back there, so it just shows how uh, dangerous holdings become. Steve Harrison has collected four wickets for the season. Um, Who's that to come? What's his average? His average is 31. 31. Well, an average might be a bit blown out because he bowls a lot of research. Okay. And his economy rate is 6 and 0. No, that is not good. Oh, yeah, a run of ball. The ball ball by Rinia. Just look, saw it. His eyes lit up and he was just trying to get yeah. it apart. Square leg's a bit deeper. There's a gap at Cow's Corner. Right there. If you can expose it. And we're almost out of tape in this tape. Well left on the bench. shot, but he just didn't get his weight in the right position. He wasn't committed to the stroke, and that's why he missed it. If we hit it, it would have been four death, four run, four death, four run. Oh, Harry says whack. Oh, he hit it through that cow's corner gap that I was talking about. That was so, hit so well. Oh! <laughs> Harry Rinya has got off the mark of the six. Not a big fellow. At by any means, and has hit a six. The camera <laughs> couldn't pick that up. <laughs> well, and what a way to go to end the tape, as uh, we'll just be uh, letting it run out and delay. And uh, through a power failure there. Yes, and uh, we've got a bit of action to update you with. Uh, Balding was then on. He hit a two down to third man, and then he whacked a four down to deep square leg, and it went all the way down to the tennis court area, as you can see clearly. Oh, come back up. So that means Balding's score has progressed to a total of 40. 40. 40. Is that? That's 41 now. And 41. can he bring up his first ever 50? 21st ever. Oh. He made one under 14. 
Well, that doesn't <laughs> count. First 50 this year. That doesn't count. And we've got some special guests in the commentary box. We've got... Will. And... Thank you very much, gentlemen. And welcome to the Channel 8 Media Centre. Home of Channel 8. Christian Car... Oh. Barton with the gloves. Bowling on strike. And oh. misses the full toss and uh, steal the bye. So tired, he gets many but games. Rich, I don't get to the games as often as I do. I'm bloody fucking fine this time. True guys. Bowling still on strike. A clean shot. Oh, and well defended by Bowling. No run. Music. Playing to come in, short outside and off him. Oh, well. Rich. Oh, perfectly played. Down a third, man. We got it perfectly played on the monitor. You just look at the monitor. <laughs> oh, <laughs> not, not a good feeling there. Uh, three, so it takes him on to 44. Alex. Spinner continuing. They've got an attacking field for boarding, even though he's whacking them all over the place. No theatre on the fence at square leg. Don't bowl it short. Oh. We, the comments. Oh. Catch. And so that's the end of that. Boarding out for 44. What an incredible knock by boarding. It just shows you the ability that Pan and Hill uh, have got in their lower depths. In normal games, boarding can't even get a bat, can't get a keep. But he's so good that he can make a 43 uh, with such quality stroke plays. Um, well, Chucker, I'll be back in a minute. I'm just going to grab a quick drink. Certainly. New batsman to the crease, John Legacic. Legacic, seven matches, innings four, not outs one, runs 40, possible 30 with an average of 13. Yes, he's, I've been looking forward to seeing uh, John Legacic, he looks like a real chug -a big hitter. Well, he's very good off the front foot onto the drive. Let's see what he'll do. Defensively played, and seen bowled by Harris, and, and they've already got a field up back at deep mid wicket for uh, Legasic. But there's a big gap at Carroll's corner if he can uh, get underneath one. Left alone, Harris and uh, okay. short, uh, well defended by yeah. Legasic. Looks like Legasic will take the traditional block block slog method of batting. Just uh, picking which ball to hit for four. A lot of runs to be made still today. Oh, the long one. Well, John definitely didn't pick that and uh, luckily he was able to play it off the pitch. Full and left alone by Legasic. Well, Legasic's got a big role to play here. Definitely. The uh, under-16s definitely want a big hitter to go to bat at the bottom of the order. And could Legasic be the one? Bit of Indian music there. Definitely. It's 11 o'clock, so... No, you I am recording. Did you get the music? Yes. 40 minutes of play left, so still plenty of runs to be made here. With Harry on strike. Is this Zambo? Ah. Oh. Four runs put down the glasses by Rinya. And he looks in terrific form this morning. Yes, Harry Rinya now goes to his highest score of the season. So, very good batting by both Boarding and Renya bring up their highest scores. Okay, when they put your band, you're playing a song. What do you want? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Hold a bit there. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Hey, Justin, film that. <laughs> <laughs> And that's 
the end of that. So, Harry and Yap. Go the best one comes in. Go the best one comes in. Out for 10. New batter is Ryan McDougall. The new batter in the crease. Dumbo with that wicket. The First week. wicket of the season. Not only their, uh, not only their best batsman and wicketkeeper. Now he's amongst the wickets. And one of their best bowlers as well. Yes. Now why is there a fielder on the fence at fine, fine leg? Oh dear! And that is four runs. Oh, I might pull up, will it? No. That's into the fence. Fabulous boundary there by Rowan Osuri. No, just the free. What? Well, that is outrageous. But maybe uh, I guess he will uh, repeat the dose. And no, he doesn't put away a bad ball. Well defended by Legasic. If you want some quality clothing, just like what I'm wearing here, then just go to the Blue Gum Clothing Thank Company. God. In Blackburn. The president is Eric Grimshaw, father of Nathan yeah. Grimshaw, yeah. and yes, the uh, Panel Seniors, and Samuel Grimshaw. Also, also Eric Grimshaw was president of the Panel Cruise Club for a couple of years. There is a bird. I do not like it. That first piece of page. So what are they going to do to Rowan? Uh, they've got an in-out field. Most of the fielders are either protecting the boundary or in attacking position. Go straight down the ground, I'm guessing. Short. Ooh. And he Just pats it away. Nice body. Swimming coverage, Ray Rabs Warren. Welcome, Ray. Thank you very much, Richie. Nice to be with you. Well, thanks for coming in. Uh, are you a big cricket fan? Rich, I am. I don't get to the matches as often as I'd like these days. I'd blight if I can find the time to be truthful. And that's the end of... Um, I have to interrupt you there, uh, Richie, with uh, Ryan McDougall out stumped. Oh, and I'm afraid that means that's that it. <laughs> and that's the end of Ryan McDougall. He's in for a short and our last batter is Dylan Beagle. So, the uh, little tail end of Barfield. Who can, he can bat. He, it's probably better than some of the batsmen. We have hit the club. Single. And welcome back to the commentary box, Pie Man. Yes, good morning again. And we see the Gatic on strike next to the spin bowler. And oh, another bowler. wrong one. So, what's the score, of Pie Man? Well, 7 for 237 at the moment. And um, yes, it seems to be exciting cricket, especially from Pan Mill. How so, about this match? Yes, they look like they're just going to be batting out the rest of the day's play. As the perfect ball to use his power. 